Hey sweeties, thanks so much for watching. This is a video about my nail art collection. Now I don't have a lot yet, but um, it is like a little bit of a beginner's nail art collection, I guess you could say. I am, a, I am new at it and I am a beginner, but I had a lot of fun doing what I did do so far. So I did like order some nail tools and you know, nail art tools and stuff. And uh, I did get add like colors to my collection so I could be more creative and be able to do some more nail art videos for you guys. So I hope I'm good at it. Sometimes my hands are a little shaky, um, just a little bit. I don't know why. I did do a nail and ha hand care routine video. And then I also did a video for like three easy nail art designs. And I did pretty good with that. And I, you know, I think you guys enjoyed the, that video. So I'm hoping to kind of keep that up. And I wanted to share with you guys my nail art collection, I guess you could call it. And the way I organize my little nail art area in my beauty room. I just think it's really cute. And maybe it'll give you guys an idea if you do have like a size like my size of collection of nail stuff maybe it could give you guys an idea of how to organize your nail stuff and so that's what we're gonna go do right now and i hope you guys enjoy so now we're just in looking at you know another wall in my beauty room um this you know this is just a pretty painting that i put up my mom gave me that and I love it so much. Now I'm going to show you guys, you know, my little nail collection. They basically, this is all my nail polish right now. It is a lot more than I had before. I did not have this much. The top two rows of this nail polish shelf, that all is was new, new nail polish that I ordered off of Amazon.com. I will put the links down below. I just wanted a variety of nail polish when it came to the nail stripers, which is the top row. And then I wanted a, a variety of colors, which is regular nail polish. So I could do different designs and have my color options. Now this brand is called Shaney Nail Art. I will leave the link down below. And it's not the best quality nail polish. I will definitely say that. But for doing nail art, it you know, I think it's working out so far. The nail striper colors with the glitter colors as well. And then then that was like one order. And then this this set here of just regular you know, nail polish, you know, but, but all those colors. Both were very good deals, and, you know, you don't really want to spend a fortune, so it was the best option for me starting out doing nail art. This third shelf here is all my sinful colors. Uh, this kind of grew, too. I just mostly had some summery colors, and then it kind of goes down to the next row here. I add it to my uh, sinful colors nail polish collection I added some fall colors which you know I will point out some of the fall colors but before that I really had like half of what's there now of the sinful colors but I really wanted some more fall colors so I could do some fall nail art hopefully if all goes well because the Shaney collection they're more colorful and I didn't have any like browns or the kind of oranges and yellows that I wanted and some reds you know I just needed more of a variety with the fall colors for the sinful colors the new ones are like all here these are all new and then down here some are new as well some of these fall colors the glitter are the glitter colors are also new. And this berry color is new as well. And I really love that nail polish. It's only I think uh two dollars, I'm pretty sure, a bottle. So that's really not bad. And I really love the love those colors and love the nail polish quality. So I'm all for collecting those. Now I do really love Essie nail polish as well. It's a little more expensive. They're like $8.50 so I can't really get that many of those but the only new one here is this berry color. 
That's my only new one for the SE, and the color's called Bahama Mama. But I thought this was a really pretty berry color for the and uh, nice for the fall. For OPI, that's all I have there. I just have three OPI nail polishes. One is the Nicole by OPI. This is just this cute little collection. It's just a it's like a little kitty nail polish set. I don't use it. It's really just cute and I just keep it there because it's cute. It's like this alien uh, cartoon thing. And then I have three Avon nail polishes. I don't use them a lot but I have them. Some have to be shaken up. I only have two Sally Hansen nail polishes. I have this white which I end up using a lot. You know, I, you know for some nail art I'll be using that as a base. This is actually new. I, I'm going to hopefully do a review on this for you guys. It's a manic, it's a gel manicure basically, but you don't need any light. So supposedly it's supposed to be as good as a gel manicure, but it's just the nail polish and that's it. I got that and I do plan on doing a review for you guys and seeing how well this really works. And then over here is just all my clear nail polishes. I have a couple OPI and three Sally Hansen clear nail polishes. The shelf itself is also from Amazon. Uh, I wasn't too happy with the quality of it. It's just that like acrylic shelf. I mean it's when you have the nail polishes on it it looks fine but before I had the nail polishes on it you know it just it was a little cheap looking but it really it just fits the purpose. I don't really need anything fancy. I just wanted one shelf that size to fit my nail polishes and I do have some room to grow there so I don't want any more than this I just think one shelf is good for me but I will also leave that link down below it's you know it's from Amazon and I will leave all the links down below for you guys now underneath here is just a cute little area that I made up and basically I just wanted to keep all my nail stuff on this so I have like a little bit of a nail center or nail area but on the top shelf here I just have two nail polish removers and just this pretty jar of cotton balls because you'll always need those handy but in this cup here this was an old candle and I'm just using it as a cup in here are just this is just like a little pocket and I have some gems that I could use for nail art And these are these like crayons that came with those gems. I think you, this is how you put the gems on your nails by using these crayons. And then here are the nail tool, the first dotting tools that I got and I ordered them off of Amazon as well. And they have all different shapes and sizes and I haven't used them yet because they took like over a month to get to me. So I haven't been able to use them but I'm finally gonna be able to now that I got them. Then this is just a brush, it's actually a free Sigma brush that I got that I used before I got the dotting tools, I used this for some nail art. And this is another tool that I got, it came like, it came free actually and I do see some people using it in nail videos, it's like a sharp end and I'm pretty sure it helps with like writing and stuff, so I haven't used that yet but I plan to. The third shelf are just some nail supplies, you know, the usual nail files and buffing tools and also some cuticle cream and hand cream. I just use glass like jars for that as well. And this bottom shelf in there is just some more nail, like um, nail tools, more like to cut and file and nail clippers and nail scissors, things like that. I thought those, you know, those are good more in something, so that's why I have it in that. To the left here are just some beauty books my sister gave me. They're just these awesome beauty books that I still have to look at more. There's actually two papers there that I wrote out, some inspirational stuff. when I Before I started my channel, I made some inspirational notes and stuff, and I just keep them there to remind me of why I started my channel and 
and little reminders to keep motivated and stay positive. So that's my little nail art area. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked seeing my little collection so far and wish me luck practicing my nail art. Hopefully I'll have a nail art video up real soon. Alright guys, take care and thanks so much for watching.